I submitted a bundle of silver Mexican coins to PCGS for grading. I'm going to show you the coins before I sent them in and the results in this video. What's up you guys, it's Ocean here. I received this box back from PCGS for coins that I submitted for grading. I'm going to show you these coins one at a time and I have some old footage recorded from before I submitted the coins. So I'll show you the coin, we can guess the grade, and then we'll do the grade reveal for that coin. These are all Mexican silver coins, and I'm really excited and interested to see if the grades came in um, where my guesses were. So um, I also purchased PCGS TrueView for all these coins, so we'll have some really nice high resolution images to look at as well. So let's dive right in. All right. First coin up is a 1957 5 peso, incredible iridescent toning on this coin. Very light colors, beautiful colors, and I love the way the light moves on this coin. This is one of my absolute favorites in this submission. Uh, the mintage of this coin is only 200,000, and this is a great candidate for submission. It's it's a beautiful piece, and I'm putting the grade of this coin squarely at a mint state 66. You can see very high luster on this side. It's either going to be a 65, 66, or 67, but I think it's going to be a mint state 66. And for the Mexico Constitution 5 peso, mint state 66 is the grade. No real surprise there. This is a really nice coin. If you're going to buy one of these, Mint State 67 is about the sweet spot. But I think this coin is a lot nicer than a lot of 67s because of this toning. But this is a coin I'm going to hold on to. And I may submit this for reconsideration one day. Maybe one day this coin may be considered a Mint State 67 coin. But I'm happy with the result. All right, this is a coin I'm really excited to send in because of the incredible toning. Lots of nice colors in here. It, it looks dark, but there's colors in this toning. And the question that comes up with a coin like this is, is the coin artificially toned? And I don't think it is. I want a straight grade on this coin, and there's a scratch. Let's see. The scratch is on the reverse, or I guess it would be the obverse. Uh, right at the, right above the eagle's head, there's a scratch. And other than that, it's very nice for an 85 Libertad, but I acknowledge the toning may be camouflaging other minor imperfections. And... As far as a grade goes for this, I'm putting this coin at a mint state 67, and I think that's totally reasonable for this piece. I thought this coin was a mint state 67, and it came back details, but it's probably not for the reason you're thinking. This coin has incredible color, but it didn't come back artificial toning, it came back cleaned. So very peculiar there. This was a surprise to me, this coin... Being clean never crossed my mind. Um, this is just a learning experience. Have you ever had a cleaned monster toner? In any event, the grading fee was worth the education. All right, this one. This is just a real flashy example of the Libertad's predecessor, the Mexican Onza. This is a sterling silver coin, but it's a big coin. It still contains one ounce of silver. As you can see, 33.625 grams of sterling silver, so one ounce of silver total. It's just high, high, high luster. Original mint luster on this coin. It's so shiny that it almost looks oily, but in a good way, if that makes sense. I'm putting this coin at a mint state 65 to mint state 66, there are some light abrasions on the coin that make 67 out of the realm of possibility, but it's just magnificent luster. Okay, the 79 Mexico Onza came back mint state 65. I'm happy with that. 
Mint State 66, I think the coin had a shot at, but I'm not mad at a gem mint state coin. Uh, this is beautiful. Blast white coin. I forgot how incredibly flashy this coin is. It's an incredible coin, no matter what the grade is. Totally deserving of a Mint State 65 by PCGS. This is a Ferrero Carril 5 peso. It's a one-year type 1950, also known as a Southeastern Railroad. And it, it's a rare Mexican coin. It has a mintage of 200,000, but 100,000 of these were melted. So half the mintage was was melted shortly after they were made. They weren't well distributed, and they made the Olympic coins with this silver after, after they were melted. And these always carry a premium. This is a nice example, very light toning on this coin, uh, kind of an antiqued patina, super original looking. And I like the original look of this coin. That's why I picked it. But the grade isn't as high as some of the others that I'm submitting in this batch. I'm going to guess the grade is, I'm going to say a Mint State 63. The Ferrero Carril, this is one of the more rare coins I submitted. And I'm very pleased with the grade, Mint State 64. And it's a beautiful example. Um... You can see the color is sort of a antique to dream. There's a really nice look to this coin. It's very attractive. So I'm happy to have this coin encapsulated so it's preserved and I can enjoy it. Here's a flashy blast white 50 centavos. This is a 1939 example. And I'm putting this coin at a mint state 64 to mint state 65 grade. And I'm hoping for gem mint state. This coin has a little bit of a cameo effect, and that's why I chose this coin. But, I don't know if you noticed, my eye is drawn to a little bit of spottiness on this coin. Not much chatter, but there's a few breaks in the luster. Overall, I think it's a beautiful coin, and there's still lots of luster to go around, and I think the coin ought to be recognized. The 3950 Centavos, this one came back with a strong result, Mint State 65, and this is the coin that shows me PCGS treated me right. It's sort of the litmus test for me with this coin. I had some strong grades on my side with the submission, and you know what? It makes me want to submit more coins. This is probably the least rare coin in this um, submission group. But it's just fun to get coins back. This is a Mexican commemorative. It's a 1993 5 peso Xochi Pili. Super rare coin, mintage of only 2,000 pieces. And what strikes me about this coin is you see that rose toning around the perimeter. Really nice look. Super high grade. Higher than a 65. I'd weed out a 69 and... I'm going to put this somewhere between a 66 and 68, and this coin has potential. Modern Mexican commemoratives like this are a great opportunity right now. They're really rare. They're Mexican coins, and what's nice is they don't break the bank. The Xochi Pili came back mint state 67, and it's featured on PCGS's webpage for this coin, and this has been a really exciting outcome for this submission. It doesn't get any better than this. And other featured coins on that webpage are Blast White examples. This one, of course, having that rose colored toning all around the perimeter. There it is. Very nice example. And let me know as we're going through this, what's your favorite Mexican coin? Here's another 50 centavos. And in many respects, it's better than the 1939 coin. This is a 1906 example, and the color on this coin is out of this world. Super high eye appeal with an iridescent rainbow finish on the, let's see, this would be the obverse. Um, 
This is one of my favorites in the group. Now, this coin shows a little bit of wear. I can see it in the eagle, which would probably bring it down to AU, but it's just a stunner. Let's see if I can see these colors. There, there they are. When I flashed in the light, this is just an incredible looking coin. Okay, the 1906... I forgot what grade I was thinking for this coin, but it came back AU58. Just super cool toning here. This is the type of coin I just can't get enough of. And I'm glad to know that it came back in a straight graded PCGS holder. Um, and the color just really struts its stuff on this coin. I don't mind the AU grade. It's no big deal to me. This is just a phenomenal coin. All right, 1911 Mexico, one peso, caballito, which means little horse. And look at this design. It's just, it's beautiful. This is my favorite Mexican coin design. I just love this image. Wow. Unfortunately, as you could kind of tell, and I think you could tell on camera, the luster on this coin is rather dull, so it looks like it was definitely cleaned at some point. But the details are strong. It's probably AU details cleaned, would be my guess. But I'm going to submit it anyway and just see what happens. But it's a rare coin. It's also a highly sought-after coin, so it'll be nice just to authenticate it and preserve it. The Caballito came back cleaned. I was expecting that. The 1911 is a great year to have with the mintage of just over 1 million. Even this coin with the AU details grade is worth a few hundred bucks. The mintage is low, but the demand is also strong with these old one pesos. So it's an, it's an incredible design. It's my favorite Mexican coin design. And a lot of people agree with that. So I'm happy to have this coin. There it is, my Mexican coin submission to PCGS. Which coin was your favorite? Let me know with a comment. And do you have any coins that you're going to be submitting for grading soon? Let me know. Stack white as the ocean.